Hey everyone, so this is my binder video. I'm going to talk about um, issues I have with binders, uh, past binder I've used, and the current binder I've used, which I mentioned in my last video was the sports pullover short binder. Um, so, the issue I have with binders, I love what they can do, although I've never actually been completely flat with binders. I'm not as big as most people. I'm like a C and a B. Um, but the binders just, they don't flatten me enough. It's not really the huge issue right now. The, the issues, it hurts too much. Um, I cannot wear a binder without having a lot of pain. Even if I wear just a binder. If I, if I wear a binder on the tank top, then it, it's it's even worse. But the binder by itself is just so painful. And it's supposed to be the... It's a small. Which when I did the... You know, it said it was supposed to be small. It doesn't do shit though. Anyways, so this is the binder. This is what it looks like. Okay. It's very small. It's I do believe it's smaller than the uh, tri top from Underworks, which is what I had before. I do not have it anymore because it became too big and there was no point in me having it. So I gave it to a friend of mine who um who it would have fit. So I just gave it to him. Um but you can see that it's a small. So it's not like they lied. <laughs> he sent me the wrong one or whatever and gave me extra small. And this is the back. Which is nice. I like that it's not thin or or and that it doesn't cover the whole back. So there's a little bit of spot where I can um, breathe. And the back is stretchy and I like that. The front, not so much. It's not that thick either. It's, it's a little low. So anyways, um, I'll wear I totally forgot which one I wear first. Um, I think I put on. The. I think what I do is. And I can't really think of it right now because it's been a while since I wore it. Is that I wear this. It's a tank top. It's a Dan Skin Now. That's probably backwards, I don't really know. It's extra small. It's got a built-in sports bra type thing. And I usually, it's really bugging me that I don't know for sure. And I don't know why I don't have the picture in a safe place. <laughs> I took it with my phone. Um, and I take a lot of pictures with my phone. I take, <laughs> I take so many. I take pictures of books. I take random pictures of myself. I'll take random pictures of just about anything. And I'm not finding it. I wonder if it's on my computer, cause I have a Bluetooth on my phone in my phone, and then I have Bluetooth on my computer. So. Oh, there it is. Yes. So, um, I put my, I put this on first, this one, and then I put this above it when I actually use it. It was, I should have just looked on my computer to begin with. Oh, well, lost some time. Who cares? So, this and then this on top. Um, I don't know how to insert pictures, so I'm not even going to try. Um... But if I were to come across it, then I could just easily show you with my phone. It's starting to bug me that I can't find. I've got I've got all these baking pictures, so I I don't know. Oh pickles! <laughs> I took pictures of pickles. What happened was is I couldn't get the jar open, so I was taking the picture. Anyway, and then I'll add. 
this, which is uh, a large above over the binder and the other tank top. Very large. It's not something I could wear by itself because it's so big and it's long. Um, it's a tank top. I don't care what people normally call them. I guess people would call this a wife beater. I don't like that term. I really hate the fucking term. And I'm sure you can figure out why I hate the term, right? Wife beater. Why would someone call a fucking tank top a wife beater? Hello. Think of a fucking new name, will ya? Anyways. So, this is what I wear above it. Now, even if I wear this by itself, with nothing else but a shirt above it, which is what I tend to do if I'm gonna, um, when I do laundry, there's a washer and dryer here, one of each, um, and when I do laundry, I like to sit down there because <laughs> I'm really, really lazy and I hate going up and down the stairs and trying to figure out when the, um, washer's done and when the dryer's done, I like to just be down there and then I can just do a quick thing. Um, I only like doing the whole going up and down the stairs if I'm doing more than one load or something. But I don't like, <laughs> I, I hate going up and down the stairs just to check. The first time I did laundry, I did that. And I was so freaking annoyed by the time that I finished the wash that I just sat down there for the, the, the rest of the drying load. Cause it just, it totally pissed me off. But anyway, so I'll wear this when I do that, when I just go down there. And it's really, really painful. And it's supposed to be the right size, but it hurts my ribs. And there's something wrong with my ribs anyway. Um, I'll feel the... This side is completely fine when I go like this. Nothing seems out of place. But when I do this, there's a... It's, it, it feels like there's a piece of rib that's kind of stuck out. I don't know what it is, but it's like really annoying. So, I don't really have, I've only tried two binders. The tri top and this one. And this one, the, my um, <laughs> top kind of, I call them my top. Sometimes I'll refer to them as breasts, but normally I just say my top. Um, they stick out a bit on the side. Um, they don't really fit in it. And it doesn't bind well. So, I mean, if I went up to the next one, medium, I believe that's the next size. I don't think there's like a one in between small and um, medium. It doesn't, it's, it's not, it's not going to do much. I mean, this doesn't even do anything. Even with these two items extra, it doesn't do anything. This by itself doesn't do anything. It just makes me look like I've got, you know. Anyways, so, I, it hurts too much. And the, um, for me, I just don't bother. I, I'm just like, yeah, I'm not even gonna freaking bother. What's the point? So I, I don't. Um, when I go out, I wear. Do you see that green sweatshirt way back there? Like right there. I wear that when I go out, and it's big enough that it. You can't tell. That I have it top. However, <laughs> I have long hair. I look feminine. Um, I, I have two pairs. Okay, I can't find it. Two pairs of glasses. I've got this pair, which is plastic rim. And then I have this pair, which is, I don't know, like wire rim glasses. But, um, either way, you can tell that I'm feminine looking. Ow. These ones I don't, um, I think they're different prescriptions. I think they fucked up or something. If I wear these ones for a long period of time, I can't wear these 
I have to start wearing these ones right off the bat as soon as I wake up. Or I can't wear them later on in the day. Anyways, not that this is not supposed to be about glasses. This is supposed to be about binders. So, since I've only tried two binders, I don't recommend anything. Um, do not use ace binders, though. That, that I'm just going to say right now. You're not supposed to. I've never used them personally. I have thought about it before I could afford a binder, but I never did it, and I'm glad I didn't. Um, I do not know if the issue with my ribs is caused from binders or not, so I can't really say anything. It does hurt to sit certain ways, sometimes especially when I lean this way. Um, I do need to talk to my doctor about it. I don't know what it is. Although, I, I want someone to feel it first before <laughs> I go to the doctor, because what if it's just my imagination or something and I'm not really feeling something? I would feel like a total dumbass. Um, so that's my thing on binders. I don't, like I said, no recommendation. Um, I mean, you could try this one, but I mean, it didn't work for me, and doesn't it doesn't work for me because sometimes I do wear it. Um, but it might work for other people. So I mean, everyone's different. Someone once told me not to use a Velcro. <laughs> Okay, and I was looking at some Velcro ones, and I was going to get one, and they're like, oh, no, 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 no. And I have to agree, do not use Velcro, because if you're going to use Velcro, it's going to, if you need to readjust in the bathroom, you're going to hear it, and everyone's going to hear it, especially if you're in public, and then, whoa, what is that sound? What is that? So, you know, the person was right. I mean, sure, Velcro might be a little better than a pullover. It's upside down. Oops. Then a pullover. However, there's going to be that issue if you're out in public you're trying to readjust it. Um, so I wouldn't recommend getting one of those. Uh, this one is from uh, Less Love Boat. Um, and, or Love Boat Shop, whatever. Um, they have some decent stuff to look at. I'm probably going to buy a new one eventually, I don't know, I might just um, get a bra, uh, a sports bra or whatever, I mean it's not that big a deal, it's not like I'm, I don't, when I go in public I wear that, that green sweatshirt I showed you earlier, okay, oh look at that, a messy apartment, it's not really as messy as it looks like. Um, so I wear the, the green sweatshirt. So it's it's not like anyone can see anything. Not that big a deal. And I don't pass anyway right now. I used to pass really well. Even without a binder. Like I went to the library once and needed help with something. I was asking if I could check my email on a computer at the library that you're not supposed to use for anything but research. And it was for school to print something out. And I was asking how it's done, la la la, and the lady at, went to talk to someone else and said, "Sir, this or a young man, this young man needs help." Okay, my hair was shorter than this, but not as short as the videos I posted a while ago. Um, with the super short hair that's from 2010, and um, you know, I'm male clothes, baggy pants, baggy shirt. I wasn't binding. I, my hair wasn't super short, but I passed. So I, I, I was also bigger than, and not, not hugely big, but I was a bit bigger. So that probably played into it as well. Um, but yeah, right now I don't pass. If I were to take, I'm not taking this out again. I already had to, to readjust it because hair keeps falling out and it bugs me. But I can officially put it all the way into a ponytail, and it's pretty long down on my shoulders now. So I don't really pass, so wearing a binder is not really important to me. So I don't really bother with it. And I especially don't bother if I'm just going home. Well, anyways, that's my binder video. I don't have any recommendations, so please don't come to me with any, because I don't have any. Um, th the next one I'll talk about packers and why I don't have packer anymore, and um, I'll put links to Packer video and stuff like that so that you can check out where to get them. Alright, I will see you all next video.